we came back with Andrew Everett versus uh, Cedric Alexander. The name was really hard to hear uh, over the speakers, so I hope I got that one right. Um, started off uh, with both with a bunch of missed kicks and counters, and uh, and um, Everett ended up doing some uh, really cool standing uh, flips. Cedric had a nasty uh, drop kick to the to his opponent's back uh, of the head, and he sent him to the floor. Um, Everett did a really cool walk up the knee arm drag that I've definitely never seen. I've seen a ton of lucha, so you know. We had a high angle back body drop with um, Everett barely flipping in time and almost going on his head. Uh, we had a huge kick to the head by uh, Cedric, and um, then uh, Everett hit a huge springboard to the uh, SSP to the outside. Got a big chant, and it was really nice. Um, he then hit a Hurricane Rana where he uh, drove um, Cedric right on his head. Um, Cedric had him in the power bomb position, and then he spinned it into a white noise, which was cool. Then we got probably the highlight of the match with uh, Everett hitting a 630 into a knee of Cedric Alexander. And then, um, you know, Cedric, uh, after that, he hit a backdrop plus a backbreaker combo for the win. It was a great match. Uh, the crowd was super excited. Um, Everett looked really good. Uh, the 630 block was super sick. And uh, this was fun. The crowd chanted, this was awesome. And uh, ROH might just have something in uh, Mr. Everett right there. Definitely a highlight performance, and uh, that's taking the ball and running with it. Three and a half star match here. Uh, really enjoyed this one. I'm like 99% sure after this that Roderick Strong threw a water bottle. It said, uh, not 100% sure, but I think so. Um, it's just really hard to see because of the crowds and all that. Next up, we had Kevin Steen versus Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, Steen was super over here, just tons of chance from the start, and obviously the crowd really loved him. Uh, Steen did a kip, a kip up into a drop kick early for a huge pop, and Steen clobbered Kyle early, sending him out. Steen grabbed a fan sign and held it. Kyle worked over Steen's arm for that and most of the match, and Steen hit a big lariat, turning Kyle over. Steen hit an apron bomb and a swanton, and uh, Steen ended up getting out of a late armbar attempt with a foot on the ropes. Later, Steen was on the top turnbuckle, and he kissed Kyle, which was kind of weird. And then he had a nasty uh, Super Fisherman's Buster. Uh, I tried to get a shot of that, but it's just too hard with the lights at Ring of Honor. Um, then in a disgusting spot, Steen put in Kyle's mouthpiece, and he um, he ended up throwing it at him, and then he hit a package power driver. But um, something happened. I, I think Kyle O'Reilly kind of kicked out, and I think Cliff Compton came out to help him. Um, once again, it's just too hard to see from my, my vantage point, so I wasn't sure. But uh, Cliff Compton appeared, so I'm going to kind of go with that one. Um, he got out before three. And then uh, Steen argued with Cliff on the outside, and um, Steen ended up hitting the sharpshooter for the win. It was a good and pretty smart match with the crowd loving. I don't like either of these guys, so I was really impressed by it. Uh, I just thought it was really done well, so uh, it was pretty cool. Steen called out Compton after and ripped into Compton. Steen dared Compton to come in, and security stopped it. Steen then hit an F5 on a ref and dumped Cliff hot. Uh, Cliff came back, and I think he splashed Steen through a table on the outside. Um, too many people stand, and you couldn't see unless you're in the front rows, so that's kind of how it goes. Um, we then went to our main event for the night. I really don't have too many pictures from this. Uh, just impossible. There's like at least seven or eight people in my way. You know, with all the wrestlers and everything. So, what can you do? You know, <laughs> welcome to Ring of Honor. Um, we got tons of FU Hardy chants. They hated Hardy. And they announced that if someone beats Cole, they get a title shot. Got off to a really slow start, and the whole match was slow, so it didn't really do much for me. Mark went for a leapfrog, and he ate a Yakuza kid. Um, Mark now has longer hair, and Jay has a mohawk. So, uh, they do look kind of different. And Mark, he looks really young now with the, the new look. I don't really know if it's a plus or whatever, but it is different. Early on, the Briscoes hit a big uh, double shoulder tackle, and Elgin did his delayed brain buster on Hardy. Elgin pounded Cole in the corner, and uh, Hardy and Cole worked over Jay for a long time. Mark got the hot tag on Hardy, and um, Hero and Elgin did double elbows on Mark, and we got another Elgin delayed brain buster. Mark hit a John Woo kick into the corner on Elgin, and... Um, then Elgin did a follow away slam on him and Jay at the same time, which is a really cool feat of strength. Um, the Briscoes did a razor's edge ra uh, cutter combo on Cole, and Hardy eliminated the Briscoes with a twist of fate. Uh, maybe on Jay, 
I'm not 100% sure. I didn't get the note done. Um, Hero then did a really cool flipping cravat neckbreaker on a Hardy, which I really like because I haven't seen that too much. Um, look kind of dangerous, but whatever. And um, Hero hit a nasty spilling, uh, spinning elbow on Cole with some loud sounds in that. Elgin chokeslammed Cole and then flipped him with a lariat. Hero hit a big Yakuza on Cole and then hit an electric chair into an elbow for the win and the title shot. Um, Elgin beat up Hardy after, and, uh, that was pretty much it. We left to just kind of get out of the way. And, um, yeah, it was a long match, and it dragged, and I didn't really think it was that good, but, uh, what are you gonna do? Um, so, could have been worse, though. But, uh, overall, it was a pretty good show. Uh, Roe and Hanson really made the show, and Everett Alexander were, was a really big match, and, uh, I really liked that. Definitely recommend going to check out both, because they were quite good. Um, I'm just glad Ring of Honor finally came to Pittsburgh. You know, uh, they've been to pretty much everywhere else, but rarely ever Pittsburgh. Uh, they got close about 10 years ago, and it wasn't that bad, but it's still too far out. But, uh, today's show was directly in the heart of the city, so they had a ton of people there. And I think it worked out. They had to have maybe 1,000 to 1,200 fans there, and it was, uh, it was a pretty good show overall. I think they'll have people coming back. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, my original report, there's a ton of different spelling errors, and I do apologize because I was writing on my phone, and you know how that goes. But um, thank you, everyone, and um, for more, check out www.prowrestblog.blogspot.com.